Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a picture gallery in uh, Dreamweaver CS 5.5. You could be working with version uh, 4 or 5, that's absolutely all right. Uh, guys, before I actually uh, speak more on this subject, let me show you how it actually looks in the browser. Let me show you a pre uh, preview in Google Chrome. Right so this is the main area guys these are the thumbnails I'm using three thumbs you could use as many as you want that's absolutely all right so I'm gonna click on the second thumb and you can see the picture fade in and uh, in the main area the main content area it actually changes and uh, the same is true for the third picture as well let me go back to the very first picture so guys it's a fade in picture gallery okay when you click on the thumbs the main area reflects that change okay and also if you can notice you get a nice finger whenever you hover over any of these three thumbs uh, it's very similar to how you actually use the button mode property in uh, flash pro okay so instead of getting the mouse uh, mouse pointer as you get it uh, now when you're over the picture but when you're over the thumb uh, you get that nice uh, finger letting you know that it's, it's, it's clickable right guys this gallery didn't take too long for me to construct so what we're gonna do is we're gonna destroy and reconstruct it and we'll see how this was actually done cool <coughs> so let me close it up let me go to my local side folder guys this folder out here on the desktop called my side is my local side folder okay I will be retaining the images folder but I'll be destroying these fry assets as well as the uh, HTML file and all that I'm left with now is the images folder which then has three thumbs and three main pictures okay the, th the main pictures are of the size 600 uh, by 300 uh, px pixels and the thumbs are 200 by 125 each right so <coughs> that's the thumb that's the main picture that's the thumb that's the main picture and that's the thumb all right <coughs> okay so let me uh, start constructing this picture gallery and as I said it, it doesn't take too long to do it guys it's, it's pretty simple pretty straightforward so I'm gonna click on the create an HTML file next guys I'm gonna say insert insert then I'm gonna say table right guys out here uh, I've selected two rows three columns and the uh, table width to be a 610 let me change it to a 620 I've already done my calculations 620 works best okay and then uh, the cell padding has been kept at two that is the space inside the cells okay I'm not I don't want any cell spacing guys right and as far as the caption is concerned uh, the header is concerned let me keep it at top okay the caption uh, let me call it uh, my picture gallery <coughs> excuse me gallery summary is only for the screen readers does not reflect in the design area I can skip it so I'm gonna say okay right let me be in the split view guys all right okay let me just crunch this area a little bit okay now guys uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna merge the top row I'm gonna merge the top row I'm gonna highlight it like this okay I'm gonna come down here in the properties panel and I'm gonna hit this uh, icon which says uh, you get a tooltip it says merge you know merge selected cells so I'm gonna hit that and you can see all the cells get actually merged out here cool uh, <coughs> next I should be bringing in the pictures guys so let me say insert image let me dig inside my images folder and let me go in for the first image which is 600 by 375 let me double click I should give it an alternate text that's a good habit but I'm skipping it for now let me say ok and there you are guys automatically it uh, inserts itself and uh, centers itself too cool now I'll be getting in the three thumbs guys so let me click out here at the uh, you know in the bottom first row in the bottom row first column okay let me say insert then say image then let me go for the coffee thumb 
Okay, let me skip the alternate text. Cool. Let me click out here in the second column, bottom row. Okay, let me get in the th the next thumb. So insert. That's a uh, image. Okay, and uh, that's the second thumb. And in the last column, let me get in the last thumb, the third thumb. So insert image and that's the last thumb guys size is 200 by 125 let me say okay okay again <coughs> right so what I've done is in the main area I put the bigger picture and the thumbs I put in the bottom row the top row has the main picture let me show you a preview in Google Chrome I'm gonna save the changes all right let me call it dream weaver gallery okay let me save it and up comes the preview in Google Chrome right so here we are we have this main picture out here in the top row the bottom row in the three different columns left middle and right we have the three thumbs okay let's move on let's get back to Dreamweaver I'm gonna apply sa some inline styles guys so I'm gonna locate the table tag before that let me crunch this much this code so it becomes easy for me to work okay and out here in the table tag I'm gonna insert some inline style guys so I'm gonna type style and then let's say background uh, color let me keep it black I don't want any white areas and then let me apply width uh, margins rather I'm gonna say margin left auto semicolon margin right auto again and margin top this time 50 px <coughs> right semicolon so guys using the style attribute I've applied uh, inline style to the opening table tag background color black you know background color black margin left set to auto margin right set to auto that'll make sure that the table centers itself left to right margin top 50 pixels so it'll be displaced from the top edge by 50 pixels the width 620 the border is one pixel that's fine cell spacing cell padding as we wanted it right let's take a preview in Google Chrome guys so here goes uh, let's save the changes and let's see how it actually looks very very cool my picture gallery is indeed looking very cool okay but let's put let's breathe life into it guys let me also give it a title let me call it picture gallery okay now I'm going back to the design area guys And then what I need to do first is I need to give all of them IDs. Let me click on the main picture and uh, in the properties pane, I'm going to give it an ID of uh, main. Let me hit enter. And uh, for the three thumbs, I'm going to call them T1, T2, T3. Thumb 1, thumb 2, thumb 3. So that's a T1. Enter, select the second thumb. Give it an ID of T2. Enter and uh, t3 enter right so I've, I've named all I've given IDs to all these four pictures guys including these three thumbs cool next guys uh, let me select the first thumb now guys I'll be inside I'll be in the tag inspector tag you could be uh, you know for you the CSS style stack could be uh, highlighted selected you need to select the tag inspector and then go to behaviors or uh, alternatively you can go to window and behaviors <coughs> behaviors right that's shift plus f4 so under the tag inspector and under behaviors I'm attaching certain behaviors and uh, effects as well as we'll soon see so I'll click on the plus button making sure that I've highlighted the T1 thumb click on the plus button okay 
go to swap image <coughs> now I'm, I'm telling Dreamweaver when somebody clicks on T1 or thumb one please swap the main let me first come off this I, I don't want this option it says uh, restore images and mouse out I want the main image select the main image to be swapped by the main image itself <coughs> sorry let's keep the preload images option on guys make sure that I've, you have set the restore images on mouse out too you, you need to check it off okay let me say okay basically what this means is see notice out here it says on mouse out I'm gonna change it to on click all right so when somebody clicks on the thumb please change the main image with itself so nothing would happen right next let me click on the metal thumb this blue colored thumb the ID for which is T2 let me click on this plus button let me then go to swap image and this time I'm gonna swap the main not with itself let me check it off not with itself but with the respective bigger image <coughs> with the drink you know this this image of this uh, ice drink and let me say okay and let me say okay once again let me change the mouse over to on click okay let me repeat the same process with the third thumb ID for which is T3 let me click on the plus icon let me go down to swap image and when somebody clicks on image number three I would want the main image or the main area to be swapped by the ice cream main bigger picture the respective bigger picture for the thumb let me say ok and ok once again guys notice that all the three times I made sure that restore images on mouse out because I don't want any options on mouse out is set off is checked off let me say ok let me change because I don't want the trigger to be on a mouse over I want the trigger to be a click it could be a double click it could be a key down it could be a key press uh, and there are so many other options guys just the way you have an action script in flash pro but we are working with dream viewer cs 5.5 and still we have these nice cool options okay so I'm actually done let me show you a preview in Google Chrome let me say uh, save the changes and notice guys as I go on clicking on these thumbs I get their respective bigger pictures to show up in the main area very very nice and very very cool okay let me go back to dream Beaver now and I'm gonna make a few more changes to make it uh, look even more aesthetic let me click on the first thumb right <coughs> then let me click on this plus button let me go to effects let me go to appear fade let me say the current selection I want it to be main I want the main to be affected I want the effect duration or the appear time to be 1500 milliseconds or one and a half second I want it to appear from a 0% to 100% making sure the toggle effect is set off by default it is off let me say ok out here you can see it, uh, we get the option on click which is uh, exactly what I want so I don't need to change that let me click on the middle thumb the ID for which is T2 let me click on the plus uh, button let me go down to effects appear fade current selection to be the main the main area to appear over 1500 milliseconds from a 0% to 100% let me say ok and likewise for the third thumb as well plus effects appear fade <coughs> current selection main appear 1500 that's one and a half seconds appear from uh, 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 you know a 0% to 100% let's say ok ok and uh, guys I'm uh, done let me take a preview in Google Chrome after saving the changes guys you can actually see that uh, it's a spry functionality this appear this fade in is a spry functionality which means that a spry assets folder 
has been generated as well as a spry effects.js a javascript file has been generated as well that will be saved in your local site folder that needs to be uploaded to the server for the object or the behavior to function correctly which is great i'm going to say okay it's coming up any moment now so let me go on clicking on these thumbs now not only do the images get swapped you can actually see the nice uh, fade in as well so how very cool how very nice and how very mouth watering as well <laughs> so uh, guys i hope you like this tutorial and i uh, enjoyed it too and i hope to see you very soon with yet another flash or action script 3 tutorial or it could be dreamweaver cs 5.5 so you have a good day guys bye bye peace